in the heart of one of the most beautiful places anywhere on earth, the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, we took an escort from the UN peacekeepers to the area around the town of Nyanzale. Here since January, as many as 20 camps have uh, sprung up for displaced people. Nearly 100,000 people displaced this year despite a uh, peace agreement uh, signed in January, bringing the total number of displaced in the last 18 months or so to over half a million. There are no facilities in many of these camps, very little clean water for uh, drinking, uh, for cooking, for washing, uh, very little shelter, uh, very few blankets at a time of year uh, when it is extremely cold at night. One of the uh, byproducts of this terrible situation is that uh, the malnutrition levels uh, in this area uh, in particular have risen well beyond emergency levels as high as 17 percent uh, in uh, parts of Rachur and the Sisi district. Uh, new feeding centers, nutrition centers are being uh, established all the time uh, to deal with uh, what is really a, a terrible situation. Uh, many people now have, have missed three successive harvests uh, their ability to fend for themselves as far as providing food for their families is concerned is extremely limited, if not non-existent. Uh, however, despite huge obstacles, the World Food Programme uh, has been able to get uh, substantial supplies of food through uh, to the displaced, uh, providing a full ration for one month uh, to people who are really very, very desperate. The World Food Programme will continue to do everything it can to beat the incredible uh, logistical obstacles and security issues to make sure that people who have been so terribly affected uh, by conflict in eastern Congo are able to at least look forward to tomorrow.